Hello. In this video, we're going to demonstrate options trading in Aetna Trader. Options are an extremely sophisticated security type that requires proper consideration of multiple factors like the fundamentals of the underlying security, the probability of the option reaching a specific price, the projected profit or loss, maximum gain, maximum loss, and so forth. And in order to review all of these factors and perform a deep analysis of a specific option strategy, traders require proper technical tools that will assist them in this endeavor. And so in this video, we're going to show you which widgets in Aetna Trader can be used to perform research on options and place option orders. So let's get to it. Let's go to Aetna Trader web, and here we have a collection of tabs for different purposes. We have a tab for options, for trading, stock analysis, account management, price alerts, and so on. And for options, we also have a separate tab containing widgets that can be used for trading of options. Right now we have two widgets, Option Chain and Profit Loss Calculator. We can also add the Probability Calculator. And this widget is naturally used to calculate the probability of various option parameters. The Profit Loss Calculator shows us our projected profit or loss. And the Option Chain displays all of the options for a specific security with different expiration dates, their prices, their volumes, etc. Right now let's focus on the Option Chain. Let's remove our calculators, and now we can focus on the option chain. Option chain is essentially split into two segments, the call option segment and the put option segment. So whenever we select a specific expiration date, we're going to have several call options with different strike prices, and on the right side we're going to have corresponding put options with the same strike prices. The selection and filtering of the displayed options can be done in the toolbar at the top. First of all, we can specify the ticker symbol of the underlying security. For example, let's go with Tesla. Tesla is one of the most volatile stocks on the market, so options are extremely useful here. The next step is to specify the strike range. Here we have different values ranging from plus minus 1 all the way through plus minus 8. Now what that means is, if we select 5, Option Chain is going to find an option with the strike price closest to the current market price. And this is going to be the reference option. And because we have selected plus minus 5, we will have 5 options with the strike price below the reference option strike price, and also 5 options with the strike price above. Now we can also filter our options by their expiration type and also by their expiration date. Let's say we're looking for options expiring in December. Let's select December 2020. And now we see only options expiring in December. Right now we only have 11 call and 11 put options. Let's make it 17. Let's select plus minus 8. And now we're going to have 17 options. One reference option, 8 options with the lower strike price, and also 8 options with the higher strike price. Now for each option we have various information like its ticker symbol, its current price, its last price, its bid price, its ask price, its change, and also its volume. Right now we are in pre-market, so some data is unavailable. If we hover the mouse over the strike price of any option, we're going to see a pop-up containing the intrinsic and time value of this option. And naturally, we also have Greeks that measure different factors which affect the risk of the option. Now, the selection of information displayed for each option is configurable. If we would like to conceal or reveal certain information, we can click Change Columns, and here we can hide something, display other columns we might need, and so on. Ok, now that we have taken a look at the option chain, the next step is to analyze our profits or losses based on the performance of the underlying security. So let's add the profit loss calculator. Let's link our widget by color with the option chain so that our widgets share the same data. We have green here and green here. And now if we try to select an option in the option chain, 
the profit loss calculator will show a corresponding chart. As usual, the x axis represents the price of the underlying security, and the y axis represents the profit or loss of our strategy based on the performance of the underlying security. The yellow line displays our profit or loss depending on the price of the underlying security at expiration date, while the blue line displays our profit or loss depending on the price of the underlying security for today. This little orange triangle shows us our loss if the price of the underlying security at expiration date is equal to the strike price. And obviously in this case the value of the option will be zero and our only loss will be the money that we paid for the option itself. And this yellow square marks the price of the underlying security at which we're going to break even. In our case it's $1,676.8. And if the price of the underlying security rises above that threshold, this will be our profit window. So the higher it goes, the higher will be our profits. And because we're simply buying a call option, our maximum gain is unlimited. While the maximum loss will be the cost of the option. Let's say we want to buy 10 contracts. So this option is currently trading at 296. The standard size of the contract is 100. So in the end we're going to pay 300 times 100 times 10 or approximately $300,000. Or a bit lower than that to be precise. Now we can also analyze our profit or loss if we sell a call option. If we buy a put option, and also if we sell a put option. As a matter of fact, our chart can calculate the profit or loss for multiple options. Let's say we want to enter into the bull call spread strategy. We're going to buy this call option, and simultaneously we're going to sell this call option. And now we have the profit loss chart for our strategy. Also, if we would like to calculate our profit or loss if we added the underlying security to the mix, we can click Add Stock, and now we see our profit or loss if we also bought the underlying security. Alternatively, we can calculate our profit or loss if we sold the underlying security. Ok, now let's see how we can configure the default quantity of option contracts in the option chain widget. Right now we have 30. Now if we would like to change this value to something else, we can go to settings and under trading, let's go to the default order, let's go to options, and here we have our default quantity. We can change it to something like 10, let's click OK. Let's reload the platform. And there we have it, 10 contracts everywhere. And the last aspect of options trading that we would like to cover is the probability calculator. So let's go ahead and add the widget. Let's link it by color with the option chain. And now we have the probability distribution for the Apple stock. We can also change the price. Right now we're seeing the current market price for the Apple stock. However, we can change it to something else if we would like to run different scenarios. And then we can specify the price range. So let's make it 318 all the way through 398. We can also configure the price range right on the chart. So we can just move those sliders and thereby adjust the price range. We can also configure custom volatility and also the expiration date. And once we have configured all of those sliders, we can take a look at the probability of the Apple stock being below the specified price range, being within the specified price range, being above the price range, we also have the probability of the Apple stock reaching the lower bound of the price range, that is 330. And also the probability of the Apple stock reaching the upper bound of the price range, that is 376. 
And finally, we have the probability of the Apple stock reaching both bounds of the price range, either bound or neither bound. And so this is the probability calculator. All right, now that we know how the option chain works, we know how to build a profit and loss chart, we have seen the probability calculator, and now it's finally time to trade some options. So let's go ahead and select a few of them. Let's buy this one. And let's simultaneously sell this one. Let's click trade. And here we have our options. We have our strategy. We can also select a different one if necessary. We can add several other options and we can add the underlying security as well. And now let's configure the order. We can place either a market order or a limit order. We can also specify some comment. We can specify the duration of the order, the target trading session, the target exchange. We can also configure a placement condition. And finally, we can configure a complex one triggers the other or one cancels the other order. But for now, let's go with a regular order. Let's click trade. And our order was successfully filled. And finally, let's take a look at how options can be traded on the go using Ethnotrader's mobile apps. Right now we are in Ethnotrader for iOS. And here, if we would like to trade options, we need to tap on some security. Let's go with Netflix. Let's tap on the Options tab, and here we have our options. Similar to Aetna Trader Web, here we can select different expiration dates. Let's go with November. Now, if we would like to change the strike range, we can go to our settings, scroll all the way down to strike range, tap more, and here we can select, for example, plus minus eight. Let's go back to our options, and here we have 17 options. Notice how some of the options have gray background while others have the black background. Options with the gray background are in the money options, while the options with the black background are out of the money options. If we would like to trade one or more options, we can simply tap on them. Let's go with this one and this one. Let's tap Trade Options. We can expand them. The first one we're going to buy and the second one we're going to sell. We can also configure various parameters about the order, like the type of the order. We can select the target trading session. And pretty much anything else you can configure in Ethnotrader Web. And once we're done configuring the order, we can tap Trade. And the order will be placed. Let's go to the Orders tab. And here is our executed order. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you have any questions about options trading in our platform, feel free to go to our website at www.ethnosoft.com. And there you can also contact us and schedule a demo. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel where you can watch our other videos on Ethnosoft's web and mobile platforms. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.